Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. If you're new here, we cover everything related to cinema and technology, bringing you reviews, comparisons, and insights from the movie industry. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon to stay updated on our latest content. Today we're talking about something that gets many moviegoers wondering, the difference between watching a movie on an IMAX screen versus a regular screen. Which one should you choose? Is IMAX worth the extra money? Let's dive right in and find out. IMAX, short for Image Maximum, is a proprietary system of high-resolution cameras, film formats, film projectors, and theaters. It's meant to create an intense, immersive movie-going experience, and we mean really immersive. Now let's break it down a bit. First and foremost, the most significant difference between the two formats is the size of the screen. IMAX theaters generally have much larger screens than regular theaters, and the screen shape is different too. It's more of a square shape, designed to fill more of your field of vision. Aspect ratio plays a significant role here. Many films, especially those shot with IMAX cameras, feature a 1.43 by 1 aspect ratio, significantly taller than the usual widescreen 2.39 by 1 aspect ratio we see in regular cinemas. This means you see more of the image on an IMAX screen, both at the top and the bottom, providing a more immersive viewing experience. One of the major differences between IMAX and regular cinema is the quality and positioning of sound. The IMAX theater provides a sound experience like no other. IMAX has a patented sound technology that gives the viewer a unique multi-dimensional audio experience. In IMAX, the sound isn't just around you, it's above you too. To delve into this a bit further, in IMAX, the speakers are placed in a way that sound comes from all directions, even from the roof. The speakers are precisely aligned with the laser to make sure the sound reaches each seat at the exact same time, allowing for an impeccable sound experience. The placement and alignment are based on the size and shape of the IMAX theater, meaning that the sound quality is custom tailored to the specific environment you're in. Now compare that with a normal cinema. Regular theaters usually have a 5.1 or 7.1 surround sound system, where the sound comes from the front, sides, and back. These are fantastic systems that have provided high-quality audio for years, but they may not have the overhead component of the sound that IMAX provides, nor the laser alignment for such a detailed audio experience. Apart from screen size, aspect ratio, and sound quality, there are a few other factors that set IMAX apart. For instance, IMAX patented theater design. IMAX theaters have a steeper seating arrangement that places you closer to the screen, helping you feel more immersed in the movie. In contrast, regular cinema seating is more spread out and less steep. Also, the projection systems of IMAX theaters are quite advanced. They use dual digital projectors that can display both 2D and 3D content with unmatched brightness and clarity. Regular cinemas generally have single projector systems that, while still excellent, may not offer the same level of brightness, particularly for 3D movies. Additionally, not all movies are created equal when it comes to the IMAX experience. Some movies are specially filmed using IMAX cameras or are remastered in post-production to take full advantage of the format, resulting in better picture quality on IMAX screens. On the other hand, if a movie is not shot with an IMAX camera, a regular cinema might provide an equally good experience as the IMAX format wouldn't add much to the viewing. Furthermore, some films are specifically shot with IMAX cameras. This means when projected in an IMAX theater, they can display at their full resolution delivering unparalleled image quality. So in terms of sheer spectacle and immersion, IMAX certainly takes the cake. But is it worth it? So let's discuss prices. However, if you're a frequent moviegoer who just wants to catch the latest releases without breaking the bank, or if you're seeing a movie that doesn't make full use of the IMAX format, then the standard cinema experience is still a great choice. At the end of the day, whether you choose IMAX or a regular screen comes down to what you value in your movie watching experience. Both offer unique experiences and neither is inherently better than the other. But knowing the differences can definitely help you decide what's worth your time and money. And that's it for our comparison of IMAX and normal cinema. Do you have any personal preferences? Do you think IMAX is worth the extra cost? Let us know in the comments below and remember, if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button to keep up with our latest videos. Until next time, keep enjoying the movies.